recording. Hello everyone, it is me, Leafy Van Gogh. I am here to talk about the next Mogul Mail uh, thing. Okay, let me like pause that, that's gonna distract me. Yeah, um, <laughs> we're off to a good start. Um, we're doing another Mogul Mail type video and we're gonna be talking about as a VTuber or as a streamer, where should you start? Specifically VTubers. This video is gonna help VTubers significantly more. Um, when I say where to start, you might be thinking like, oh, you need to start with like Twitter or Discord. It's like, yeah, sure. But I'm talking about what streaming platform you should try out. So you see here my Twitch. I've been on Twitch for four years. I have 443 followers. That's not a lot. Like if you're starting, that might seem like a lot. But when you put that in the perspective of four years, that's like just a little more than a hundred a year. That could be significantly bigger if um, I was in my earlier years knew what I was doing. But um, what are some of the things about Twitch that really kind of makes it a little bit harder? The algorithm's pretty not good in the category system. So the category system makes it harder because instead of having VTuber as a category, it has it as a tag. Why is that a problem? It means if you play a game that doesn't have a lot of followers to, uh, <clears throat> that doesn't have a lot of people paying mind to it, like Super Mega Champions or Pixels Digital Creatures or Sailblazers here. You see these here? They are fun games, but a lot of people don't know what they are, nor do they care. So, why is this important? Well, if we come over here to Kick, they actually have a VTuber category. Why is this important? Well, if we look over here, you can see a lot of VTubers here. And this makes it easier for VTubers to grow on this platform because they have a dedicated category with a dedicated audience to it you see here there's like a lot of people with like one 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 but if you like come over here after the ones it goes to like three to about four and then jumps up to seven six and seven it's a lot better than going to twitch and being unseen but something else that Twitch has is that depending on when you make your account, you'll be pushed more. If you just started your account right before you started streaming, you might be pushed a bit, little bit more on Twitch. As a VTuber, if you know how to use Twitter, there's going to be a lot more people that want to support you to get to affiliate. It's a lot easier that way. But with Kick. I could be playing one of those lesser popular games using the VTuber category, and they're there to watch me, not the game. All they care about is supporting VTubers. Sometimes they care about the game, sometimes they care about who you are, but it's a little bit better in that aspect. If we come over here to YouTube, YouTube has that same has that same like advantage of not being limited to categories. It doesn't have categories at all for streaming. All it has is that people who are subscribed to you sees that you're streaming. That could be a good thing or it could be a bad thing. Let me like come over here and look real quick. See if they do a kind of scroll down here. It used to be that they had a section for just people who are streaming. Let's see here. Explore uh, da -da, live. So yeah. Okay, it is taking a while to load. So yeah, you see here there's like different things. Featured streams, live now, recent streams, upcoming live streams. It doesn't really do like a like the categories that Twitch or Kick does. It can be 
easier to explore. But a lot of it does seem like it's a numbers game. YouTube kind of feels like a numbers game, but you got a few other advantages to this where you have the algorithm on your side. Like whenever you upload a, let's say a short shorts, make big waves shorts really go far. Why is that important? Well, if you're already on the platform, it's a little bit easier for people to watch you stream. TikTok is very similar in that aspect, but there's not really much point into talking about TikTok if it get ban if it gets banned soon. But if it doesn't get banned, you got quite a bit of um, versatility there because you can stream on TikTok, and TikTok is a lot quicker to go viral. But you don't earn that much on TikTok. You earn a little bit more on YouTube, from what I understand, but I feel like the most important thing you can do is probably attempt to try all these platforms. Because when you try and when you try all these platforms, you can find the one that you feel like is more comfortable to you. Maybe you want to stream on all of them at once. You can do that. Like with the new Twitch guidelines you can stream on all the platforms and you're fine there's other platforms you can check out but i'm not very well versed with them i know trovo exists i don't know if there's any issues with trovo i don't know trovo i know rumble is kind of a weird place uh let's not get into that but rumble exists but i don't think it's a good platform if you know you know but overall, finding a good place kind of comes from trying out new things. Just try the platform. Maybe you'll find some. Um, here's some people that told me that they think that the kick community for VTubers are nice. Uh, Necroviathan has been on here for a little under a year, I want to say. And he's had nothing but good people. Miss Leafy is someone who I've met. She's been on here ever since, like, Kick started. She loves it um, when it's the people from the VTuber community. There is an issue where you might get big enough to where people from outside the VTuber community starts coming in. It's the people outside of the VTuber community that may be the issue on Kick. So there are negatives to kick besides the being associated with Aiden Ross and XQC. But there's a negative to all these platforms. It's just looking for the one that you want to do. Uh, thank you for coming and have a good night or day, whatever time it is for you.